paper, which can come from something about the size of a piece of printer paper. I don't know if you can see that very well. Mark it up. Um, and it'll be the, the length of it, not the width. Um, so just cut out a strip of the length. Um, smaller usually works a little bit better, but I'll go ahead and just get started. This is maybe like, I don't know, a few centimeters. <laughs> Definitely less than an inch. Okay, so first thing you're gonna want to make a little ribbon. So, sorry, starting like this and this first piece of paper is going over the second piece of paper and it's gonna look like a little ribbon on the other side. So you'll have one that's over and one that's under. So you're gonna wanna take, oh, what did I do? So you're gonna wanna have, work with the one that's going under and put it through. And kind of pull it together gently so it's not ripping into this shape, little pentagon shape with a little flap sticking out at the end. And then this end, you're gonna find a place to tuck it into. So I'm gonna tuck mine in here. So I'm gonna fold it. So that I can It's looking more complicated, but it's not. We're just trying to get this flap tucked <laughs> in here <laughs> so that there's nothing sticking out, so that you just have a nice little pentagon right here. So I'm going to take this part. Can you pull it back a little bit towards you? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yes, exactly. This part, and I'm going to go ahead. And I'll just show you step by step how I'm doing it, I guess. I'm going to go to this edge, and then once I'm there, I'm going to turn it so that it's at the bottom again. I'm going to take it and go to this edge and turn it so it's at the bottom again. I'll go to this edge over here and turn it so that it's at the bottom again. And I'm going to keep going and doing that pattern flipping and turning so that I'm covering each edge. Until I end up with a shape like this at the end. I'm gonna tuck it in again. So at the end, I should have something that looks like a Pentagon. Sometimes little spots might end up a little uneven and that might not make the puff work so well. Usually I'll just kind of fold stuff over it so that it ends up into the shape. But let's see if this one works. Oh, so once I'm into the shape at the end, I'm gonna just pinch with my pointer finger and my thumb on either side of a corner point. And then just keep going around and doing that. I got mine. Yay! Yay! It's better than the other one. <laughs> yeah, so a, a lot of them come out different and that's okay. I think it's just kind of like getting into your own flow with it because people will make it different sometimes. There's mine. <laughs> Yay! Puppy star. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so 
Yeah, and they all come out different. Like this one's gonna have a little smushy butt. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's a star.